Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys a look around some projects that I'm working on, from my map to some other projects that we're doing. So first thing we're gonna start off with here is oh, okay. I guess we're gonna have to reopen all these. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're gonna look at here is this 1978 Ford F-150 model. Um, this is something that I got from Turbo Squid a long time ago, and I just recently restarted on this project. Um, everything is done here in Blender. All I have to do yet is get everything um, textured. Um, I just have to work on figuring out how to do the UDIM texturing. Um, I got the wheels separated. I got the windows separated, everything else. So I just got to figure out how to... Uh, UDIM and then everything will be uh, good to go um, but uh, so this is one um, project that I'm working on uh, we don't need to save anything on that um, another one here that I'm working on or gonna start working on I haven't started on it yet but I will be starting on this project um, is Taking this nurse trailer from FS15, getting it into FS19, um, so that way I got something a little more realistic, or something a little bit nicer, something a little bit different than um, the uh, um, different than like a tanker trailer or something like that for uh, spray filling sprayers and side dressers and that kind of thing. So I haven't started on that one quite yet, but that's one that I got going. This is a project that I'm working on for someone. Um, it is a uh, snowmobile trailer, holds two sleds. Um, this one just has to get UDIM'd as well, and then I can start in-gaming it. Um, have this one set up for it to rotate. So in once it's scripted, you'll be able to use mouse controls to... Uh, lift and lower the bed that or it'll be like a fold animation where you just hit X and it'll fold up hit X again folds down um, So everything that looks kind of white uh, it will be chrome So the trailer will be fully chrome and then uh, we got the black mud guard here and then we got the black um, mat on the deck there and then the big one is the map so we'll go ahead and we'll get that one loaded up. Um, so these projects that I'm working on, um, no, they will not be released. Uh, one, the turbo, the 78 Ford, that's a Turbo Squid model. Those you aren't supposed to really release because they are copyrighted uh, models. Um, the snowmobile trailer, I'm working on that for a guy. If he chooses to release it, he chooses to re release it. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of up to him. Um, that's something that he had found that was a model for FS13 or FS15, I think, something like that. Um, and he sent me a Blender file for it to work on it, get it into 19, because he uh, didn't know what what he was doing. And, um, you know, I've kind of been think tossing the idea around in my head to make a snowmobile trailer anyways, except I was thinking of making a longer one that would hold four sleds, so two in the front, two in the back, and it would have ramps on the back and the two uh, sides of the front as well, uh, which is something that I still would like to do eventually. Um, and then the nurse trailer, that's not going to get released um, because it is somebody's mod from FS15, plus I'm doing it for you know my own use. Uh, the map is not going to be released either um, as, you know, the biggest reason why I'm not releasing any of this stuff is one, you know, a couple of them aren't my model. Um, to release, one's copyrighted, and just in general, I have stopped releasing um, anything that I do. So, um, but anyway, here's my Wheatland Farms map. So we'll kind of give you guys an overview of uh, what's going on here. So this map is based by Wheatland, North Dakota, which is uh, east of Grand Forks, North Dakota. All the fields uh, laid out on this map are realistic to the area. This is how the fields are laid out. Uh, for the most part, I mean, obviously, I had to make a few changes to kind of accommodate the edges of the map and that kind of thing. Um, otherwise, um, it is, um, 
you know, the fields are laid out to that area. Um, the map is flat um, because, I mean, that area of North Dakota is flatter. But, I mean, I'm, I don't know if this area is completely flat or not. But I'm, I'm just kind of making it this way. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't like flat maps. Sometimes I usually don't, just depending on how it's done. But, um, you know, seeing as how I'm doing this one for myself, I'm okay with it. Um, so there is a total of, I gotta remember here now, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 29 fields um and i mean as you guys can see they're you know in a variety of different sizes so um i have three main roads so um you got Two of them running, I believe that's north-south, or else east-west. I don't remember now offhand, but um, and then we got some gravel here for, you know, making those wider turns and whatnot for, like, trucks and stuff. Um, over here, we've got the little bit of river that is in this area. Um, I don't know why my water plane's not showing up. Let's see that here. What do we got going on here with what is this? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, so let's turn that visibility back off. Water planes. Not too sure why I had the visibility off on that. It might have been for oh it might have been for screenshot purposes. Um, but yeah, so you can see we got the bit of river here I am going to be adding a um, field boundaries to this so you won't really see the water that's beyond the map you'll just see what's you know here um, but yeah so we got that little river area in there um, so we got another yeah it was for screenshot that'd be why um, so you can see we got another road that runs right here along the edge so this will be kind of the access road to get into a lot of these fields uh, back in here so um, you know and I'll be having section lines running around and stuff like that to different fields as well um, I'm you know just starting on field fences and roads and stuff like that so um, as you guys can see right here um, you know we have a fence line running along here um, starts up here and then we have some damaged barbed wire fence run along and then we got nice clean wire running down here we come down we get to the where it tees off for this field and then we come down to the corner where it'll go across for uh, this field here and you can see um we kind of have our field entrance here so um, i mean it's not super wide opening you're not definitely not going to be able to uh <coughs> leave a you know 40 45 foot draper header hooked onto your combine and pull it in there but um you should be able to get most of your equipment in there otherwise um you know every, most everything should fit but i mean having a header trailer you know be able to get in there with that um so uh as you can see the fields still have grass on them I'm not going to worry about that because I got told when you add seasons, uh, it's going to replace the grass with crops anyway. So, I'm not going to really sit and spend the time to remove all the grass off of the fields when there's no real point in it. Um, so, the map, what the map is going to feature, um, there's going to be a variety of different farms. Uh, there's going to be a smaller uh, grain operation that you'll be starting out on moving into you know kind of a medium scale um, you know you'll have bigger buildings a few more buildings um, you'll have more bins which will also feature the small uh, livestock setup and then you'll move to your uh, large grain farm which will be 
you know, for running a lot of those bigger fields, there'll be a lot bigger sheds, more sheds. There'll be, uh, you know, you'll have grain bin systems, um, you know, which this map will have uh, the ability to dry crops on it. So, you know, you can dump your wet corn into the grain lay, you know, into your grain pit at your uh, bin site, and it'll dry it, put it into your bins. You can take it out as dried up corn. Um, it's going to feature alfalfa. Um, I guess I should finish talking about the farms. There will also be a large uh, cattle farm as well, which will be separate from the large main farm. So, um, you know, once you, you know, you can be running your medium grain farm and then be running a large livestock or, you know, however, um, or when you buy your large farm, you can move to your large livestock as well. Um, it'll have alfalfa and that'll be scripted to be able to use as hay for your cows. So you'll be able to plant fields in alfalfa, cut it for, um, hay. Um, all the roads will be set up similar to how Medicine Creek is set up where the road areas and all of your, you know, like your dealerships, all of those things, those will be buyable. Um, so then you, cause it will have seasons. So in the winter time, you'll be able to move snow. Um, I want to look into um, making a Seasons Geo. I want to make one that's kind of more realistic to the area of um, North Dakota here. You know, so you have a small planting opportunity in the spring. You got your nice long, warm summer for putting up your hay and, uh, you know, working on your spring wheat and winter wheat, uh, stuff like that. And then you move into your short fall where you'll have, you know, a short window of time to get your corn, soy, you know, corn, soybeans, sunflowers, all that stuff off. Um, and then, you know, you'll have a decent length of winter time. Um, but I will have it set up to where you can still combine your corn in corn and sunflowers in the winter. Um, so you'll want to have everything, you know, but those for sure off before winter hits. But if you don't get corn and sunflowers off before the snow, you can go back and you can still combine the corn and the sunflowers, um, kind of like we've been had to do in years past around here, including this year. Um, there's a lot of corn and sunflowers still standing in the fields this year. Um, I plan on having, um, so we got the seasons, we got that. Um, I'm going to be adding sorghum to it as well um, for another kind of crop that you can combine. Um, there will be a pig barn on here as well, so you can run pigs. Um, I'm not going to put in chickens or sheep because, I mean, that's not something that I do. I don't ever do chickens or sheep on any map, so I'm not going to throw them in. Um, all the fields will have fences around them, and you'll be able to mow, um, that area around the field once you buy that field. Going into where you buy the road... Um, actually, you know, that'll be set up exactly like Medicine Creek, but when it comes down to buying the road, the area leading up to your field fence will also be buyable. So when you buy, when you have, when you own the road area, then you can go back and so it'll either be set up this way where you can buy, you know, when you buy the road, you'll own all of the grass area leading up to the fences around the fields and leading up to the farms and stuff. Or it'll be set up where, okay, you know, by, let's say you buy this field, you'll own inside of this fence, and then for the outside, it'll be leading up to this fence. You know, it'll go straight from that fence all the way up to the road area that you can own. So then you own the, you know, when you own a field, you own the ditch around it. Um, this field will, or this map will also have road ditches on it. Um, I'm just waiting until I get done adding all of the field entrances and the field fences in uh, to go back and add any ditches of any kind. Um, the fields, they're also going to have some, um, you know, trees in them. You know, there will be tree lines in a couple of them in the middle. And there will be ponds, creeks, you know, tr different, different obstacles in the fields as well, you know. The fields aren't just going to stay these perfectly shaped fields and stuff. There's going to be stuff in them. Um, 
I'm just kind of getting the main layout of everything done before I go back and add details and whatnot uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is kind of the look at the map. Um, you know, in real life, I think there's like a farm right there. And I know there's some over here, but, uh, you know, there will be probably, you know, we'll have the dealership, we'll have the small farm, the medium grain and small livestock, uh, the large grain, the large livestock, um, there'll be the dealership, there'll be probably two elevators, um, no, nah, we'll just, it'll have one elevator, um, there will be a beet pile around here because in, this is kind of near the Red River Valley area, so there's a lot of sugar beets done in that area, so I'll probably be doing sugar beets as well on this map, so, um, you know, and plus for running pigs you want you know potatoes sugar beets that kind of thing so there will be a beet piler on here um there will be a co-op where you can go get your seeds your fertilizer um well your solid fertilizer your liquid fertilizer your um herbicides your lime um and i plan on incorporating anhydrous into this map so that way I can use the anhydrous toolbars on here and actually put down anhydrous um, I want to see if I can set the anhydrous up to be kind of like herbicide. So, you know, in the fall, if there's any weeds, uh, you know, let's say you had a field sit idle, there's weeds in it, you can go in with the anhydrous applicator um, or the anhydrous toolbar and you can inject your anhydrous and it'll kind of help kill off those weeds. That are all set up as a fertilizer. Not too sure how I want to set that up yet, but, you know, there'll be that big co op for all of that stuff. Um, and then you'll have a place that you can go sell your milk to as well. So, a lot of things going to be going into this map. Um, you know, hopefully by the time I have it done, it'll be a pretty decent looking map. Um, you know, I'm thinking, you know, like our small grain farm might be here. You know, have a house kind of over here in the corner. Have a couple buildings and then have some grain bins. Um, there'll be a tree row back in here. Maybe some junk. You know, something like that. You know who knows we'll see um how i lay it out i guess as we go um but uh yeah so that's gonna do it for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video of all of the current projects that i have going uh be sure to hit that thumbs up button um if you guys want to see more videos as i work on these projects whether it be working on the map doing different things on some of the other projects uh leave a comment down below uh if you would like to see more of the more videos of the projects I have going. I do have future ideas for projects. I just want to kind of get some of my projects slimmed down first. Like I want to get um, the uh, 78 done first and whatnot. Um, I do have a couple of other ones here in this folder. Um, I also have a 2014 GMC Sierra um, model that I plan on working on as well as a 1986 F-150. So uh, we got three pickups. We got the nurse trailer. We got the snowmobile trailer. We got the map. So I want to get, you know, some of the, you know, I like I want to get the 78 done before I start on the 86 or the 2014. You know, and I want to get the nurse trailer done, get the snowmobile trailer done, so I can get it sent to the guy that I'm working on it for, so I can have that done and sent to him, so he can use that. Uh, which we will be seeing the snowmobile trailer in future videos on our Midwest Horizon series because uh, maybe we might look into buying a snowmobile and the sled trailer uh, in the future for use in the wintertime uh, to check cows or whatever. Um, you know, just kind of have fun in the wintertime. So, but uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see and want to see future videos. Make sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not done so already. Uh, so then you can get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Make sure to check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, all of my social medias, as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.